Hello again, Gary Stearman. Time for another Prophecy in the News daily update. It is Friday, the 15th of June, and with me in studio today, author Bill Salas. In fact, he is the author of this book, Revelation Road, which we're going to be offering now for quite some time to come. You're going to be interested in this. Bill, I... Uh, I just can't wait to get started talking with you today because you've got so many neat ideas about Bible prophecy, particularly those in the immediate future. And I'm going to start out with a question today about Ezekiel 38. Everybody's read about the Battle of Gog, of the land of Magog, and the invasion of Israel. Bill, is, is that battle imminent today? Could it happen just any time? Well, Gary, I think that battle is very near but I don't think it's next. I don't think it's the next Middle East prophetic headline for a couple of reasons. I don't think it's imminent because the Israel described by Ezekiel in chapter 38 verses 8 through 13 is an Israel that I think only partially exists today. It's an Israel that is brought out of the nations of the world in the last days upon the mountains of Israel that dwells in the center of the land that's very wealthy and they dwell securely without walls, bars, nor gates. And Russia comes after that Israel that's in possession of great plunder and great booty. Israel definitely, it's the latter days, and they have been brought out of the nations of the world, and they still are being brought out of the nations of the world. And they do dwell sort of in the middle of the land, but they are not dwelling securely, and they are not probably in receipt of the kind of prosperity yet that Russia uh, covets and forms this massive coalition to come against Israel. Well, when Israel became a nation in 1948, the first thing that happened was that the Arabs declared war and said, this cannot stand. We're going to wipe out this new upstart. Well, they didn't do it. And we go 1948 and 1952, 1956, 1967, <clears throat> 1983, war after war, the Arabs are trying to wipe out Israel. And each time, Israel seems to get just a little bit bigger and better after a war. And you're saying a war is coming in Israel, and after that war, Israel will be just a little bit bigger and better than it was before now. Well, absolutely. You know, it's interesting in Ezekiel 38 and 39, not who is listed by Ezekiel in the Russian Gog of Magog coalition, but who is omitted from them. It's interesting that Israel's Arab enemies that share common borders with Israel, the countries you're talking about that have been warring with Israel since it became a nation in 1948, they are omitted by Ezekiel. But they are included by Asaph, a prophet who wrote during the time of King David in Psalm 83. Psalm, Psalm 83 is an Arab-Israeli war, a confederacy of groups that come together, which I believe has a, is about to happen, <coughs> which we're told it would include Lebanon, and of course Hezbollah is there, it would include Syria, it would include Jordan, Palestinian refugees, the Hamas out of Felicia, Saudi Arabia and Egypt. These are the countries that, around Israel that Israel has to deal with because they can't dwell securely presently. Most of these countries don't even recognize Israel's right to exist, like Hamas, for instance, as population. So Israel has to do something to dwell securely from the existential threats that surround them. And I believe that's Psalm 83 that precedes Ezekiel 38 and 39. Uh -huh. Very interesting. Uh, Bill's book is called Revelation Road, and it's a, a unique book, and I don't use that word lightly. Unique means unique. There's only one like it. And, and this book begins with a novel. And I love this idea. I've read the novel, and it takes you emotionally into the Pro prophetic events that lie in our, <clears throat> excuse me, in our near future. And then as you go into the second part of the book, uh, Bill fleshes out the ideas that led him uh, into the thinking behind the novel. It's a, it's a very uh, interesting approach. Bill's a detailed thinker, and you're going to get a lot out of this book, Revelation Road. In just a minute, I'm going to tell you how you can get your own copy. And so you have a, an imminent battle coming in which Israel battles a, a certain number of nations, and you flesh that out in your book, defeats them, and at that stage of the game becomes an expanded or a greater Israel, which then sets up another series of events. Mm -hmm. They can dwell securely. You know, uh, it, the Middle East is so dangerous right now after the Arab Spring and what's going on in Egypt mm -hmm. and Syria, these populations listed in Psalm 83. Uh, after that war, 
Israel can dwell securely with all the instability and volatility around them. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be squelched, if you will, squelched. And so right. Israel can dwell securely. It says it's an Israel that dwells without walls. They can tear down that partition wall that separates Palestinian terrorism out of the West Bank from Israel proper. Uh, it, it could, they could develop the uh, exploits of war. They can expand territorially, which is what Israel does as a pattern of that. Well, uh, the thinking would be then that, that they would gain uh, Judea Samaria, they would gain the Temple Mount, which they do not now possess, and that's more or less in the possession and control of Jordan. They might gain Jordan and some of the, the uh, land, some of the territory east of, of the Jordan River, and then become very secure in that newfound position. And so you, that's what you're seeing next. And we're not just hypothesizing this in as much as there are scriptures. Obadiah 1, verses 19 and 20, does talk about Israel taking over the West Bank. It even uh -huh. talks about taking up parts of Zarephath, which would be southern Lebanon. It talks about taking over Philistia, which is where the Hamas are. That's in Obadiah 1. Jeremiah 49, verses 1 through 6, talks about moving in and taking sovereignty over Jordan. And Isaiah 19, verses 18, says five cities in the land of Egypt will speak the language of Canaan, which is Hebrew. One of those cities is going to be called the city of destruction, we're told. So I don't think this is this guesswork on our part. There are scriptures that are supporting what we're talking about. And the question is, when will this happen? Well, it's hard for it to happen right now, but in the aftermath of a war, Israel has precedent for winning a war and grabbing some land. They did that in 1967. They did it with King David 3,000 years ago in those wars, and then Joshua did mm -hmm. it 3,500 years ago. It, it's a pattern that Israel has precedent for. Well, and it's not unprecedented because uh, uh, Manasseh possessed land east of the Jordan in, in the old days. So. Uh, essentially, that would be nothing new. The Israel of today is actually much, much smaller than the time of Joshua, and it was even right. larger during King David and King Solomon. They actually took land up, up to the river Euphrates, as per Genesis 15, 18, up to where Syria is today. Now, of course, the land grab has stopped since then, but Israel's back at it. We're back in the land. Well, I wish you had uh, the opportunity that I've had to talk with Bill, a very stimulating thinker, and he's very systematic when it comes to his interpretation of eschatology. So uh, you're going to find a lot to think about in Revelation Road. A novel that sort of sets the scene for everything. Uh, a series of commentaries describing what you've heard him uh, talk about in, in very reduced measure. There's much more in this book than we have time to talk about today. Uh, yours for 1995 plus shipping and handling. You've got uh, the book title and, and the number on your screen right there in front of you now. It's called Revelation Road, 1995. You can order the Revelation Road package, which includes a year subscription to Prophecy in the News and a free DVD concerning time travel and the Bible. And we're calling this package the Revelation Road package, yours for $49.95, ordinarily be $65. So it's a considerable value for you. And you get a year's subscription to Prophecy in the News in addition to Bill's book. Just ask for the Revelation Road package uh, when you call 1-800-475-1111. Bill, any uh, final thoughts about what we should be looking for these days? Well, I'd say you need to have your Bible open and your Fox News and whatever news channel you prefer on because the Middle East is about to go apocalyptic, Gary. And we're not just talking about Psalm 83. You could have a destruction of Damascus and Isaiah 17. You could have a strike upon Iran's nuclear sites, maybe fulfilling Elamite prophecies, Elam and Jeremiah 49. I mean, it's really volatile right now. It is indeed. Thanks for coming by today. Well, you've been introduced to Bill Solace. I think that you're really going to love his book. Uh, order it today, and you'll be amazed at some of the original thinking in a Revelation Road. The time is short. We are seeing things shape up so rapidly. Uh, be sure that you tell your friends, if they don't know Jesus, that he's the only way for them. Uh, Share the gospel. There are people out there that are hungry right now, and the time is short. And we have so many uh, resources that we can offer you here at Prophecy in the News. Just look at our inventory of books about the gospel, about eschatology, about the end times. We'd love to send them to you so that you can share the good news with your friends. Gary Stearman, keep looking up.